Hello everyone, welcome to Unbounce Hacks. Today we'll be discussing about how you can organize your landing pages in the editor so it's easier for you to identify all the sections you have and all the different layers you have in Unbounce. It's not specifically about coding, about technical skills, it's just about how you can better organize your page when you have to keep coming back and edit all the layers and make changes in your landing pages to optimize it. So I have two different examples for you. First example, as you can see, I have these sections named with, with the kind of information we have in each section. So for example, we have the header, we have the partner logos, we have the feature section, we have the contact us section. These are all the sections. So it's really easy for you to identify in which section you need to work and which section you are talking about. So let's say I have to make uh, changes in the features sections. So you can name it anything. You can name it as per your need. If you have uh, sections for uh, testimonials, then you can just add testimonials over here. You can double click it and you can name it anything you would like to. So it's easier for you to identify the sections or the boxes or the text uh, layers you have. That's a really great feature in Unbounce. Nobody talks about it. Uh, nobody, I don't think I have seen anywhere people using it, but it's definitely one of the best thing I like about Unbounce. It's really easy for you to uh, manage all your sections, layers, boxes by naming them. Right, so if we are in the feature sections, I'll just expand it and you can see I have all these different layers named and it's really easy for me to identify which box I need to select if I have to make any changes in one of the boxes I know which one I need to select so if I want to make this the better design box so you can see it says the title is better design so I have named it accordingly in this uh, box in this layer sections so it's just by looking at it I am able to identify that this box is about the better design in the better design box or the better design column that I created in my design. So for all other layers you can see each and every layer has a name. So you can just watch them and you can directly go to that section or the layers you want to select and you can make the changes accordingly. So it's 1500 USD, it says 1500 USD over there. And it was really easy for me to identify which layer I need to select to make any certain changes, right? I'm sure you can you can understand it really well if you are already using Unbounce. So you can see all these sections out here. So now we'll move to another example where I don't really have any names on any of the sections of the boxes or the layers and you will see how difficult it is to uh, understand or see and organize which section it's about uh, which text layer I need to select which uh, box I need to select it's really hard once you start doing it it's really hard for you to just put everything at one place and then try to find out by choosing different layers so you can uh, you can see on the screen now there are different sections created in this design you can see this design, there are plenty of layers, there are plenty of content in this design. But there are no naming for the layers, there are no naming for the sections, there are no particular name given for the uh, boxes, any, anything. So if I have to make any changes in any of these sections, I'm not sure uh, what section 5 has. I'm not sure which what is in section 8. I'm not sure about that. I'll probably have to, we can probably move around the page and we can select it, but just think about it. You can, how easy it's for you to just select this section from the layers and you don't have to scroll up, scroll down all the way through the page and see what's in it, right? It's pretty easy if you know if it's a footer, then I'll just double click on it. I'll name it as footer. So it's really easy for you to understand that this, this has all the footer details, it has all the navigation, it has all the copyright information. Similarly, it's just section five. So if I'll just name it to ready to claim, what it could be about this, what section has. So it's, it doesn't have to be anything specific, ready to claim with 
CTA, like call to action. So there you go. It's really easy for you to then identify that this section has a call to action button and the text is ready to claim. When you're working on your design, you will probably know already. But with this, uh, you will probably get the idea easily. So you can see I have given uh, the name of some of the layers, main title desktop. Box 3, I'm not sure what box 3 is. So if I have a name like it's a divider, so I'll probably know that it's just a divider, it's box. But it's just used for the divider, it's nothing else. I don't have any content available in it, right? So that I really wanted to share this information. It's not technical. It's not uh, a necessity in all the landing pages you are creating, but it's definitely helpful and worth sharing with the community so that they are able to organize their landing page in a better way. If you find this information helpful, please like the video and share your thoughts. If you'd like to know about a specific feature or any code for your landing pages, I'll be happy to share those videos with you and please subscribe to the channel for more updates and uh, videos like this see you again